Good morning, everybody. It's September 30th, and our riding season is drawing to a close. We do still get a few good days in September and October, but uh, it's pretty rare at this point. So today, we're actually doing an overnighter. Uh, myself and I think seven other of the nuts are getting together. We're going to meet up at various locations and ultimately meet in Clarenville, where we're going to head down the Bonavista Peninsula, one of the nicest rides in that part of Newfoundland. And uh, we're looking forward to a great day. The weather is going to be nice. It's going to be chilly, uh, but again, you dress for it and you, uh, you generally don't have a problem. So we're really looking forward to this one. And as always, I guarantee you we're going to have a good time. See you on the road. A 1973 Tracker Sundowner. Automatic, woohoo for Bre for uh, for Trevor. Um, anyway, it was a nice bike. I asked Dad. All my buddies had a, had mini bikes, and I asked my father. I said, "Geez, Dad, can I get a mini bike?" He said, "Yeah, sure, but you're gonna work for it." Top speed was 30 miles an hour. Oh, geez, it was a rocket to me then. Right? Every time I went to the water, I got electrocuted. <laughs> Every time. So that bike spent more time laying down on the ground being kicked. <laughs> We stopped lunch in scenic Trinity. I was amazed by this beautiful little colorful town, which like Brigus, has clung to the historic architecture from over a hundred years ago. Absolutely lovely. Marina and we are enjoying a lovely meal here just getting everybody's thoughts on it mine was a five out of five can't can't probably got an issue with his <laughs> usually does I gotta think so does. I get it for three later <laughs> <laughs> I, give it, I give it a four <laughs> how's the chowder Pete? Good. Try and try it, it looks good burger looks good everybody's happy with their food Eddie no, there you go. After lunch, we continued north along Route 230. Our destination was the Cape Bonavista Peninsula, in particular, the lighthouse at Cape Bonavista, which I had never been to before. And boy, it did not disappoint.
With daylight fading, we decided to make our way back to Clarenville for the night, and most of us couldn't resist the scenic route along Highway 235. We checked out Kent's grandparents' place in Newman's Cove and soaked in every ounce of this beautiful autumn day. Without question, this was the highlight for me and the boys. Meandering around this coastline at golden hour can make even a fellow like me seem speechless. The setting sun framing the ocean and the twists and turns of the highway made this hour-long route something every rider should experience. I think it's 2017 uh, Ultra Classic Triglide. Uh, I bought it in 2017 and uh, I bought the Triglide. I had the two wheelers, the dressers, and just uh, too much for my knee. I bought this, I got 60,000 kilometers on it, and I've been all over Eastern North America on it and uh, uh, really enjoying it. So uh, it's. Uh, You've got another bike down in uh, Florida though, right? Yeah, I got a Heritage down there with a sidecar. Oh, okay. And I use that for my dog, right? Yeah. My service dog. He rides in the sidecar. He rides on the back of this one. Oh, you've seen that. Yeah. And uh, he uh, he loves to go too, right? Perfect. But, yeah. Perfect. All right. right. Thanks, man. This morning was a little bit more somber. The trip was almost over, and sadly, so was the riding season for most of us. As we made our way back to our homes, we were very thankful for this little adventure. The little community of bikers that we've developed here in the Rusty Nuts is extremely important to me and I think everyone. We share a lot of the same experiences because of the types of work that we were involved with, but we also know that a day with friends on a motorcycle really does help blow away the demons that cling to all of us. Thanks again, my friends. Love you all. And remember, it's always better on two uh, or three wheels. Take care.